Hey there, my name is Christina. I'm a senior facilitator with Twello. I've been facilitating these sessions for about three years now, and it brings me so much joy because it is so essential to bring mindfulness into the workplace. I was already teaching yoga and meditation for about four or five years, and of course really enjoyed it both through my personal practice and enjoy leading it in group sessions at studios. And I have a private practice as well. So I got to practice more intimately with people one-on-one, -on -one. but um, I felt a calling to bring this mindfulness into the workplace because after the pandemic, there was a huge need for it. I think we all realized how important mindfulness is not only to relate to those that we work with, but to relate to others in our personal life as well. So I noticed there was a real need for that in a corporate environment. And um, I really was inspired to see the change that can happen after just a few sessions when going to fac facilitate these sessions in an organization. Facilitating these sessions at organizations has really opened up my practice and I've been able to make a career out of it. I primarily lead mindfulness in the workplace now and uh, it's been so, so beneficial to meet a lot of really inspiring individuals and really open up my practice and own a new skill set. It's really incredible uh, that this is now another becoming more common aspect of offering mindfulness practices. So it's not just offering it to those that are already practicing it, the people that come to say a yoga or meditation studio, but offering it to people and you being that first link, that first introduction to these things is so, so beautiful. And that is something I I'm always grateful for it and think about quite often and rejoice in. Too. I have to say the most rewarding part about working with companies is building the relationship. And when they ask to have you back, it means that something's working. And I also feel so, so rewarded when I know people are taking their practice off the cushion or off the chair outside of their contemplation or outside of the presentation that's offered in the session that we bring. That means they're really uh, digesting the ideas and really putting it into practice. And that's when I know it's really landed and it's going to make a real difference, not only for them, but for everyone else around them. I highly recommend teaching at organizations as opposed to just teaching in the studio or as opposed to just leading one-on-one uh, -on -one or private clients because you are that inspiration. You're, you are that link where they can take their practice further. And uh, as much as it is starting to become more common, it's still not so common in the workspace to find mindfulness practices. And the lifestyle of these working individuals can be quite hectic. So you're really making a difference at creating that pause in their day to have them better respond rather than react to their situations. And this will have a physiological benefit to them. This will have a mental benefit to them, an emotional benefit to them. And this also rubs off on you as well. So if you're feeling a little hesitant to start organizational mindfulness, totally understand. It's always a little scary trying something new, but try not to feel intimidated by the situation. You're doing such an incredible thing by offering mindfulness in organizations. And uh, it's such a powerful, powerful practice. And I promise you feel so incredible after facilitating these sessions. It's so wonderful to get such positive feedback from people who might not even have tried it had you not come into their office or company that day. So check it out. Take a moment just to try something different and expand your horizons as an organizational mindfulness facilitator.